How's it going, E Tribe? Hope you all are doing great. This is E Vlog coming to you live, and welcome back on the continuation on Bleach Chapter 662, all the way to 667. Now, towards the ending of the previous chapter, Ganju and Sedo are clearing the path for Ichigo in order for him to get to the castle, the upper area of the castle where Hawach is resting. Meanwhile, while he's doing that, Hashwat and Yuri Ishida will be duking it out finally. And um, the question I still want to ask is how in the blue moon did Kira survive? How is he back? And not only is he back, he still has that wound on his body. And how was he able to summon the power? The power to stop Stan Rita X. Now, I leave that question to y'all. Without further ado, let's continue on where we left off. So, we see an impact on the castle, rubble coming down. Sigh, I can't believe it. I don't even take one step to get out of the way and I still didn't die I can feel it I have this gut feeling that death is such a long way off for me if immunity is the ultimate way to keep that at bay then I suppose I have my immunity to thank for this too what do you think Yorochi Shishun and we see Yorochi she feels a little fatigued up there oh my bad I thought you were talking to yourself so I wasn't paying attention. More like you couldn't listen. I attacked you with, with a spirit particle oxygen and nitrogen hybrid gift ball. You have, you have got your hands way too full to be listening to a pointless monologue, right? I am wondering what it is like to still be alive in such a condition. Page 2 What about you? I am honestly wondering what it's like to toy so much with the little dosage just to keep me hovering between life and death. You got it all wrong. I am working my ass off over here. If you were anyone else, you would have died a long time ago. How about you quit ignoring the fact that you are a beast and knock it off with, with the you're just half ass in it bullshit? It's a real downer. And Yorochi looks over to where her brother is lying, bleeding out. Yushiro won't last much longer as he is now, but I don't have the strength to heal him in my current condition. I have to just give it up. I don't know what kind of scheme you are cooking up, but if you can't react to me until I am this close, then you are damn close to death. Hm. No matter what you do, I am pretty sure I can strike first. Don't you think that's pretty lethal? Hmm? Yorochi Shishon? Indeed. <laughs> this is indeed a little wedgie, <laughs> Yorochi-san. 
Yeah, yeah, Urara, you know, he's a, a little perverted there. Okay, okay, Urara. Oh my chain. And Yorochi kicks him in the chin. I came all the way here to help you. Why would you kick me? Why did you think I wouldn't kick you? Why did you think I wouldn't kick you? Quit staring at my ass and look at me. Sorry, you are right. Wedgie was a somewhat crass way to put it. That's not why I kicked you. And don't touch my ass while you are apologizing. <laughs> Urahara Kisuki, here comes another thorn in my ass. Oh, you know of me. I am flattered. <laughs> know of you? <laughs> you, prob you probably aren't aware of this, but you have been deemed a special military asset by His Majesty. I am not sure, I am not so sure if I should be held in such high esteem. I mean, I am honored, but you are over under overestimating me. Isn't he yorochi -san? And in that moment, what the... the hell he just did, or he just do, how is Shushun Yorochi able to move? Did he disable my death dealing? How? Or rather, it's just as I have heard. The five special military assets were chosen because of their indeterminables. Ichigo Kurosaki latent abilities Kenpachi Zaraki combat prowess Ichibe Hoshibu wisdom Aizen Suzuki Ritsu hmm okay and Kisaki Urara for his indeterminable resourcefulness okay no matter how devious your plans, he always outwits you. His schemes are always fluid and flexible. Damn it all! Why did I have to get all the tough ones? <laughs> Ooh, okay. God of Thunder 3. That's a nice way to put it. Let me drink to that. Let me drink to that. <laughs> what did you inject into my ass? It is secret. It's probably something along the line of an immunity booster. Short, that you made while you were hiding somewhere and listening to us. Excellent, yorochi -san. You figured things out so quickly. I made it very quickly, so the effects won't last long though. About how long do I have? I would say 5 minutes. That's good enough for me. Lightning God Battle Form Shinko Renji Senkia Please wait just a minute, yorochi san uh -huh. What is it? What do you want now? Let's try the, you know. Page five. No way. Such a quick answer. At least allow me to explain or negotiate with you a little. You think I'm gonna transform into that disgusting half-ass form again? I see. That's a shame. Then, reluctant though, I am. I have no choice but to. 
and in that moment something happens damn I missed huh too bad oh I ask and attack Yorochi and Yorochi uh, taps into that ability and closes in on Askin. you know it's great that you can move and go nuts sweet Askin follows through with a punch in the guts but slammed you with a poison ball when you were 100% no matter how much you have recovered don't you think it's kinda impossible for you to win in your current state? Yorochi-san! <laughs> Urara is sitting down, waving. Once I flip this page, you will be transformed. Okay. And Urara flips the page. Good. Koof, koof. What the? What just happened? And in that very ooh, Yorochi transforms into something that looks like a cloak of a cat, right? Because she's she always transforms herself into it. That's it. That's it. Kind of looks like uh, when Naruto transformed into the Nine Tail Fox. Okay. That brings us to the end of chapter 6, 6 to 2. Okay, let's go to... 663 and Yorochi transforms God of Thunder 4 what? what the hell's with that? get up get up? The hell don't, the hell don't ignore me. Shunku Raju Senki, Grand Flash Black Cat War Princess. Hmm. Grand Flash Black Cat War Princess. Shunryu Kukubuyu Senki. That's what it's called. Don't give me that. Why are you the one answering me? <laughs> Is it because she doesn't understand spoken language anymore? Burada slips, smiles, and that takes us to page 2 of chapter 663. And Mirochi is looking fear the fear fearless right now. And she goes after asking. Asking didn't see her coming. She attacks. Ooh, you gotta be kidding me! Sui! Yorochi follows through with a nice direct punch, and you guys can see the impact over there. How the hell am I supposed to be immune to her Ritsu already? A Shinigami's Ritsu can't change in the middle of a fight. The hell's going on? It's her mood. People often say cats are moody, right? When Yorochi is in Kukobuyu Senki, that shows up in her Ritsu. See? She's not coming after you right now because that's what her mood dictates. Yorochi-san is pretty moody as it is, but when she's in that form, she's even more capricious and that directly affects her Ritsu, which also becomes more capricious. 
it's like the Ritsu of a completely different person. <laughs> I like that shot right there. That shot right there is very nice. Urara and uh, Yorochi doing their thing. And Yorochi follows through again with a nice direct attack. You know how influenza spreads every year, right? Despite not being a new strain, slight antigenic alterations enable the strain from the previous year to spread. It's kind of like that. Your body can make as anti your body can make as many antibodies as it wants but one small change and you're back at zero of course the speed at which you acquire immunity is probably much much faster than that even if you do get hit by an enemy's attack you reflexively analyze the aritsu and develop an immunity at a terrifying speed. In just one minute, you can most likely render any attack ineffective. But not even you can match the speed. Not against Yorochi's spiritual pressure when she's in her Kukoboyu Senki. She's like a black cat now, huh? That takes us to the next page and Yorochi zeroes in on asking once more. It changes 48 times per second. And then she continuously attack asking. Okay, Yorochi-san. Uh, kitty here kitty 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 here kitty 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 here kitty kitty it's your yorochi all your road it's your yoruba yoruba now ouch and she is licking urara <laughs> there 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 we go Goodness, I suppose this form does have its weakness. Only I can control you, and you can only go back to normal when you feel like it. Well, I suppose I don't really mind it though, since it's cute in its own special way. Oh, oh, that's right. It's been five minutes. The effects of the immunity booster are well enough. Well done, Yorochi-san. Now just rest and work the poison out of your system. I am gonna go find the body and I will deal with the finishing blow. And in that very moment, guys, a huge energy erupts in front of Urara what? and that eruption even led the eyes of Yorochi what the what's that? gift ball deluxe the biggest poison ball I can make oops you weren't talking about that were you more curious about this form? King Jimin Ultimate Poison Ball. Gift means poison in German. King Jimin God's Poison Taster. Oh man, as skin has transformed. It's called Hashin. Pretty lame name, right? Oh. This ain't looking good. This that takes us to the last chapter of the last page of chapter 663. Let's go to 664. 
we see a nice looking picture of the one and only Abadai Renji and the name of this chapter it's called Battlefield Burning a fire that oh no let me let's go up a little bit here a fire that drips from fangs does not disappear the blade burns the battlefield revealing your opponent a fire that drips from fangs does not disappear the blade burns the battlefield revealing your opponent All right, a Ritsu that changes 48 times per second. To put it a different way, in one second, you get hit with all 48 patterns. Put yet another way, if I engage my volley stand dig, and take one full second of her attacks I get a complete infection of all 48 varieties after that all I need is time to analyze them and acquire immunity huh. you may have something there that alters Ritsu even further, but it's useless, it's Mudada. Out of the goodness of my heart, I am gonna save you some wasted effort by explaining my Volley Standings abilities. My Volley Standing has him adapts to alterations in poisons no matter how much the surface lay change no matter how much the surface layer changes as long as the base remains the same i can alter my immunity and instantly render the poison ineffective i guess that's a convoluted way to put it but you get it right from now on no matter how much you change your ritsu or hers you won't even be able to scratch me oh boy so what are you gonna do now without a kisuki don't tell me that just because i have taken away options one through 10 oh he's gearing up you are all out of ideas the gift excuse me <clears throat> and his ritsu and his energy is literally covering the clouds no need to be startled it's just in case I have marked off a bridge. Yeah. German and Kenji both mean territory. I don't like to use big, tough sounding words. People who use big, tough sounding words don't seem like they are in control, right? I want to be an in control kind of guy. Even so, I am gonna say this, it is absolutely impossible for you to escape from this gift breach. Hmm. German for poison territory, Kenji means deadly poison territory. You want to prevent us from escaping that badly, huh? Well duh, well duh, we are enemies. Do you even need to ask? It's not that, forgive me for saying this, 
but you just don't appear to be acting out of a sense of loyalty. That's pretty rude. I would like to think I am at least twice as loyal as a Pomerania. But you are not wrong. That's definitely not all there is to it. I am very interested in His Majesty. <laughs> Doesn't that make it sound like I am putting myself above him? Because, of course, I would never do that. The material world Yuko Mundo Soul Society is there anyone other than His Majesty who is trying to destroy those three worlds and create something else? For instance, if we lost our chance with His Majesty here, do you think someone else like him would just come along later? Urayara Kisaki, you are a smart man. You are a smart man. You have the face of someone who's seen all the world has to offer. Don't you think you had you would want to see that? Don't you think you would want to see what his majesty will create after he destroys these three worlds? Now Urara is pissed. Urara swings his sword. You can still move with that kind of quickness. That's pretty impressive for being inside this gift breach. I don't think I would want to. That your power, that your answer to ans that your answer to my question, too bad. And here I thought I would be, I would I would be with. Here I thought you would be with me on that one. Had it been Captain Kurosuchi, he may have said he would like to see something new. Kurosuchi Maori, huh? But even so, he wouldn't mean something of Yawach's creation. If we are talking about creating something, no one has ever seen. If, if it's about creating something no one has ever seen, then that has to be done with your own hands. That's what it means to be a scientist. I see. Can't say I don't like your answer, but still, I prefer to see what His Majesty will do. Gift ring. Hmm. Kanji means ring of deadly poison. Now he's gearing and he fires that ring towards Urara. Urara sees it coming. It vanished. Ooh, damn. The ring pierced through his eyes. Oh, man. Gift ring is for the ones who are so ridiculously strong by that dealing just doesn't work like it should. Its effects involves concentrating my dead dealing ability into a single point and insta-killing insta the area where I give my enemy a piercing with pinpoint accuracy. So sorry but you are too damn strong. Lower, lowering your LD doesn't work. Wiping out all of your resources doesn't work. So all that leaves me is killing you the old-fashioned way. 
by destroying your vital organs. You leave me no choice. Ban Kai. Modified double doors. Crimson Princess. Kanobiriki Benihimi Aratami. Oh, goodness. Now, let's pause it there. The very first time. The very first time seeing Urara's Bankai. Look at how huge this spirit or whatever is God in him is. Oh, man. This is... <laughs> and that brings us to the last page of chapter 6, 64. All right, 665. This battle has gone to another level. Urara, like Askin has pushed Urara. And in that moment, Askin is attacked. He didn't see that attack coming. I can tell you that much right now. Ooh. <laughs> is none other than the man he thought he put down, Grimjo. Empty Puppet Temple. One moment. Um, one moment. Yeah, okay. 665 I thought we went I thought for some reason we are reading 666 but right here it says 666 empty puppet temple but we are on 665 anyways you can move again pretty impressive I underestimated you the fuck son of a bitch still alive after I crushed his heart I healed him on my way here. Aizen removed the Aranka's masks. I thought this fact might come in handy during this battle, but the Aranka Ritsu completely reverts to Hollow through their resurrection. You telling me you knew what was coming? <laughs> No, I said I thought it might come in handy, so I prepared. If you make 1,000 preparations, but only use one, then it was worth it. Preparing for all possibilities without exception, that's how I do things. That's crazy. Why? This is war. If you lose, you die. Everybody prepares to death. So that they don't die, right? <laughs> and it seems like Urara's eyes has healed, right? Now it makes sense, I think. I finally understand why you are so scary. And then, ooh, Grimujo went back again and now puts his hand to destroy his heart. Tough little bastard, just die already. Grimujo san, stay, stay with you and kill your enemies. That was the deal. Now it's done. And in that moment, something is happening to Urara. No, I'm sorry, uh, Grimjo. What the hell? Oops, I forgot to tell you one thing. Son of a bitch, you are still... <laughs> when I die, Gift Ball Dulux increases in intensity. 
I was scared I would get caught in my own ability. So I unconsciously put a lock on it. And now that lock is gonna come off. <sighs> I have nothing but respect for you. But there is nothing you can do about this one. You guys probably don't have enough strength left to run away. Sorry. Although, you being you, there is probably something you can do, right? <laughs> Damn. I won't say that's fatal since it's kind of annoying. And he's doing something now. Shit. Like this is gonna take me out. Wow. One of the five possibilities he talked about really happened. And that must be Lisa over there. There is, is it Lisa? What's her name again? There is four routes to inside. That means at least two trips. And the way in, why wow, that's really tiny. And I really wanted to go with Ichigo too. That's Nail, right? And we see Urara bleeding out of his mouth right now. His Bankai that he unleashed look, looks fatigued as well. I guess this is it. Sorry to leave the rest of this up to you. Korosaki-san. Kuchiki-san. Oh, is he dying? And Urara drops. And the dialogue goes back to Gerard Vakri. Burst himself out of that ice. That didn't even stop you for a second? You're pretty tough. Did you think some meh rosen tricky trickery could stop me? And he goes after Hitsogaya and Hitsogaya uses his eyes to block the attack and we Captain Hitsogaya, this opponent will prove difficult in single combat. I shall assist you. All right, given the differences in size, or given the difference in size, I guess two on one wouldn't be unfair. What's that look for? Were you about to say there is always a difference in size when I'm involved? <laughs> no. Such a thought never occurred to me. Why would you apologize? Look at me. You hesitate like crazy and finally apologize? My apologies. And Gerard comes after them once again. That takes us to the next page. Sweet! His arm has been cut off. The hell, all of the captain ranks got wiped out. How fucking sad. The one and only, the knucklehead himself. Here comes trouble. Indeed, here comes trouble. When this man enters the battlefield, you rest assured no. Things will no longer be the same. Chapter 666. All right. Damn. Uh, chapter 665 The Princess Decision or Decision. Damn, you are really out for blood, aren't you? You leave me no choice. Bankai. Kananobariki. 
Benihimi Aratami. Whoa, he he. The hell is that? Bankai? Nope. Wasn't anything about your Bankai in the information in His Majesty gave us. This is the first time I have used it in front of anyone here. I see. That explains it. So I am just going to ask, what's it do? You are asking me that? You know I can't tell you. Yeah, I suppose. You have got a point, but it's kind of scary facing it uninformed, you know? I understand, but you know, even if I don't tell you, you will figure out, <laughs> you will figure it out soon enough, okay? Oh, wow, look at that, look at that damage, damn, what the hell? is this you have got good composure most people would be so shocked that they would cut off their own arm but as you noticed but my bankai has an area of effect Haha, <laughs> I am just not brave enough to cut off my own arm. What the... You probably picked up on this from my attack just now. The hell's he doing? And that Bankai of Urara is doing something, but... Kanobiraki Benihimi, Benihimi Aratami's power... is to remake anything she comes into contact with hmm and Askin is surprised about this and Urara goes after him again and cuts Askin <laughs> oh man okay what you can see but I insta killed your eyes i can indeed because i remade them and you see the details on urara when he goes in, into his bankai states he's almost like like a, 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 a person who has been cut up and stitched up together right you can see the threads all of, almost like a puppet and a serious and furious battle is going on between Urara and Askin now ah no way no way no way no way no way now it's now it's turned into one of those power versus power battles that I hate so much and here I was thinking I would just drag you into my field and do things at my own pace. And then shit starts heading south. You are one bad dude without a kisiki. But no matter how bad you are, you are not perfect. You haven't forgotten, have you? The amenity again, huh? This gift ball, Dulux, is a poison fortress from which there is no escape. The only reason you are able to breed in here is because I am keeping it that way. Hey, come on now. You are not going to further increase the gift ball, Dulux, concentration, are you? It's taking everything I have as it is just to crawl around on the ground like this.
Yeah, keep talking. I know what's up. Your bankai is dangerous even when it's just crawling around on the ground. Well done. You have figured things out very nicely. Good job. However, it's already too late. Asa! Urara pulls his heart out. What? Something you said caught my attention. You said it was impossible to escape from this gift board dulex, but you never said anything about it being impossible to get inside. So to test it out, I wiped up a pat I whipped up a pat inside the battle inside the ball from the outside. Oh, you can see it, right? I whipped up a pat inside the ball from outside. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Damn. Grimujasan. It wasn't Urara that pulled his out his heart out. It was Grimjo. And in that moment, Grimjo is pissed and he crushes the heart. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, man. Ah, that takes us to the next page, which will be the last page of the day. Okay, which will be the last page. The hell, it's pitch fucking black. Where's the hell am I? Bleach, chapter 667, bigger, louder, stronger. And in that moment, We see, oh my God, okay. All right, guys, all right. I'm going to stop it here. Cause I'm not sure what, cause I feel like a huge battle is coming right now. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to stop it here. My, uh, let's just leave this fight. Let's just leave the fight for today to be Urara versus Askin. Now, thus far, so far so good on these chapters. And um, I gotta say that uh, it is nice to see Urara's Bankai in effect. And... And... Um, it's actually weird how things went on because on 665 we were reading 666 and on 666 we read 665 so it's it's gonna be a tricky jump right there but in the end um Urara or with the help of Grimjo they defeated Askin and crushed his heart now although his heart is crushed does that mean that Askin is dead does that mean that he's been put down for good and it is so incredible to see Urara's Bankai I mean for Askin to push Urara to this moment and for Urara to unleash his Bankai I got to say that Askin is one tough SOB I gotta give it to him. He is just one tough SOB, right? Shout out to Askin for pushing everybody. Pushed Yorochi to the point that Yorochi cannot do anything to him. At least, I mean, if Yorochi is able to recover fully, she may have a chance, the slightest chance, but um, Askin uh, dosage continues to evolve, 
right? His poisonous ability continues to evolve and gives him the immunity to withstand uh, grievous punishments and damage. So there you have it, guys. Feel free to uh, say your piece. And on that note, stay safe and keep on keeping on. <laughs>